our lab is part of the Brenneman Institute at the PFL in Lausanne, and we are meant to develop translational approaches against new degeneration. So, in particular, what we will do is use gene therapy to deliver genes, genetic information to the CNS, either using viral vectors or using cells genetically modified and implanted in the brain or in the periphery. So what I've shown today is two of these approaches, one which is designed for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, for which there are several uh, well-defined genetic causes of the disease. One of these is mutated SOD1. So what our lab does is that it develops uh, viral vectors to suppress the expression of human SOD1 in patients. A particular important point is in which cells the gene therapy should be delivered. Several cell types are implicated, including motor neurons and astrocytes. So we have developed a gene therapy approach to basically suppress SOD1 in these two cell types, which shows very promising results in terms of survival of SOD1 mice and which will prompt the development of the gene therapy for clinical application. Another application where the, the use of gene therapy is, we think, promising is to develop systems to deliver antibodies that could be used for passive immunizations against neurodegeneration. One of these approaches is currently heavily developed for Alzheimer's disease to suppress the amyloid beta pathology. One problem is that the, 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 the therapy, therapy has to be applied very early in the disease process before actually the appearance of the cognitive symptoms. So we have actually developed a cellular implant that can release antibody. The antibody penetrate the brain and clear the plaques by binding to the amyloid beta peptides, which tend to form fibrils and deposits in the brain. So we think this approach could be addressed some of the difficulties to broadly apply passive immunization against Alzheimer's disease today. So overall, gene therapy is currently regaining importance for CNS disorders. So there are some breakthroughs which suggest that the novel vector designs, such as AEV, are very promising uh, for, for, for treatments in humans. We think that in the coming years, we will be developing some novel therapies that will be able to address probably some niche applications where the genetic cause of the disease is very well defined. And we think that there is a, 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 a need to basically work on this and develop novel vector modalities, novel antibody uh, uh, applications that could potentially provide therapeutic benefits to the patients.